She had nothing. She's a bit drunk at the moment, isn't she? No, she's a bit drunk. That's all she is. In early 2006, Devon and Cornwall Constabulary at Plymouth BCU started to use head cameras uh, in domestic violence incidents and in the nighttime economy. The pilot consisted of the purchase of 50 cameras by our local funding partners, the training of over 300 staff to ensure that people that were using it were aware of the implications of using this technology. The equipment that we're currently using uh, incorporates a digital video hard drive unit. It's a simple start and stop recording switch, uh, which means the officer's hands are free, and that leads then through up to the camera, which is worn on the officer's head. Devon and Cornwall ran an extended use pilot for six months in order to, to see whether this particular technology could be useful to the police. We devised quite a comprehensive marketing and media campaign uh, which was looking at educating the public uh, to show them what we were going to be using and the manner in which we would be using it. The whole idea of this for, for police officers is that it's another means of recording their evidence. So out on the street is a fantastic bit of kit, basically to record your evidence, to save you trying to remember at the end of your shift when you're trying to write your statement before that incident, exactly who said what and, and what they were doing at the time. So from a practical point of view, it, it's second to none. Because of the, the number of cameras that we purchased, we set up a bespoke back office facility which has specific software which manages and stores all of our data and ensures that, that we have a clear audit trail uh, in relation to the footage recorded. For alcohol related incidents, it's very, very useful. Uh, it shows that person being drunk and disorderly, it shows their demeanour. So we can capture that evidence, show it to the defendant in an interview, and depending on how they plead, it gets shown at court as well. Certainly, our early guilty pleas have gone up. I think offenders put their hands up straight away rather than run the risk of going to court. You're under arrest for being drunk. No. The feedback that we've had from the public has been very, very positive, uh, and that includes victims of crime and witnesses to incidents as well, um, as it's given them an awful lot more confidence to attend court, knowing that there is footage there that will actually back up what they're saying has happened in the first place. We had an increase in the number of detections and a significant saving in officer time spent on paperwork, leading to officers being able to spend more time out on patrol with their communities. Body-worn video enables you to show a court exactly what happened at the scene of an incident. It enables you to show the offender exactly what they did at the scene of an incident. Those are the real benefits in this particular technology. Feedback from the officers uh, that are actually using it out on the street is extremely positive uh, and they, there are some that won't go out on duty without it as they equate it now an essential bit of kit, same as they would their radio cuffs and baton.